Once again, I'm filming myself in a semi-conscious state of exhaustion. And that can only mean one thing. You guessed it, it's a day in my life. We did it, lads. We is finally earning enough money to be classed as a full-time artist. And apparently we need to go back to English classes. <laughs> I always said, if I ever end up as an artist, I'm screwed. What are you looking at? <laughs> but it's actually a lot different to what I expected. And dare I say, I am actually enjoying something. So in the last day in my life that I did, I showed you what it was like to go to Arts University, but I salute to that. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> Allegedly. No, actually. So welcome to the chaotic mess of a video of what I do in a day as a full-time artist. And when I say chaotic, you should definitely expect chaos because I was so excited for this video that I didn't sleep, which is why I am up so early. Usually I get up at like 9.30. Apparently it's sunrise gang today. <laughs> so after I finish making my bed, which I definitely do every day, by the way, I like to make a to-do list. So on my list for today is to paint my custom orders. I need to do a product photo shoot. I need to go to the post office. I need to package up some orders as well. Did I mention making a TikTok? I'm gonna make a TikTok today. And also film this video. And a few other fun things along the way which I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's get into it. So because today is a filming day, I always start by getting the camera out and apparently I'm a part-time pyrocractor because I can't go five minutes without snapping a bone. Anyways, I was having a hard time keeping a straight face, so it's time to get some water. Uh-oh, water break time. Lord knows we are 80% H2O, go get yourself some. Wow. As you can probably tell, my time management skills are not 100% this early in the morning. But listen, I said this video was going to be realistic. So I'm finally getting ready, apparently throwing all of my jewellery on the floor. Could have done without doing that. <laughs> Damn, look at that drip. I wish I could show you the sunrise, but um, I can't be asked to turn the camera on, to be honest. <laughs> Usually I'm not looking this good at 7.25 in the morning, but I'm gonna go to the post office and my post office closes really, really early. Tell me that doesn't sound like someone taking a meaty poo. Anyway, stools aside, I had to sign my international post labels and get out to drop off my packages at the delivery office, not the post office, because it is so much quicker to do it in the delivery office, especially when you're selling in bulk. And also the lady at the post office is rude and scary. And when I return from the war of the post office, I scran a shit mix of cereal. Seriously, does anyone else mix two types of cereal together? I swear to God, it slaps twice as hard. Then I get my dumb ass clean, get myself moisty moisturized. <laughs> And then I clean my teeth. Activity two in my day as a painter is, you guessed it, painting. I start by painting the center of the vinyls and organizing the produce. <laughs> I mean the products. And now it is time for some top five painting tips. Number one, use an easel. It is so much better for your posture and it's also easier to paint faces when it's on an easel for some reason. Number two, get in a flow state. Now, I know this sounds like I'm chatting out my anus, but being in a flow state is actually how athletes and professionals stay focused for such a long period of time. I'll link some videos to it in the description. And who could forget the best bit? Number three is listening to La Musica. <laughs> I know you don't care. Anyway, recently my favourite song has been From the Ritz to the Rubble by the Arctic Monkeys. Tip number four is paint near a window. I don't know, it's just nice seeing the sun. <laughs> no other addition to that point, to be honest. And finally, number five is watch other motivating art videos. I mean, it's not like I have an entire playlist on that or something. So if you want to see that, as always, it will be linked in the description. And sadly, the fun part has come to an end. I need to face my desk. This is basically the time of day where I have to do all of the boring admin work. So first I had to clean up my desk, which was kind of tolerable because I was mid-rave, <laughs> as you can tell. Now watch out, wenches. Here is my oh shit moment number one. Realizing that I have way more orders than I can physically complete. I just found out I've got to do three Hogwarts orders. I was gonna to go to the post office tomorrow, but I don't think I'm gonna get all that done by then. So at this point in my day, I have to do all the serious stuff. Go through and check the Etsy messages. I check the orders that I've got to do. I print the packaging labels. <sighs> and then I'll probably get distracted at some point and start replying to YouTube comments because you'll know I reply to every single one of them. So if you wanna distract me from my work next time I'm doing it, leave a comment on this video. <laughs> so whether you're on Etsy or you're running your own website, this takes up quite a bit of time. And also someone gave a commission to do Severus Snape. I'm so excited to do that. <laughs> so at this point I get one of these little tiny pieces of paper and I start writing out all of the different orders that I have to paint. 
I never thought I'd say this, but apparently I actually have to do taxes now. So apparently I'm like old as fuck or something. Someone please schedule my funeral. <laughs> So after a lot of boring writing, organizing, printing, packaging, I finally go for a lunch break. And I think I've done a pretty exhausting few minutes of admin. So I think I'm gonna go downstairs and have lunch. Honest to God, the highlight of my day. But the pain relief is short and sweet and soon I have to get back to my computer. And today I'm editing the video of me dicking around on some roller skates. But depending on the video, sometimes I do some filming during the day. Not gonna lie, this takes up most of my time. <laughs> but listen, I got distracted and decided to go make a TikTok instead. See that over there? That's where all my TikToks are made. Very interesting, I know. <laughs> so considering these fucking things are only like 10 seconds long, they take an awfully long time to do. <laughs> takes me an awfully long time to speak as well, apparently. <laughs> Wow, I have not checked my TikTok apparently for a while and that video got 200,000 views. That is the most views that I've ever got on a TikTok. Hot damn. So that is the seat where I sit and I film me painting my vinyls. If you're an artist who isn't on TikTok, why? Honestly, 90% of my orders are from people who are like, so you on TikTok, mate? One of my customers asked to see a video of me packaging her vinyl, so I was just adding the final touches to that and then posting it. Most of my painting requests come from TikTok, so if you want to give me a painting request, I usually take them from there. So I mentioned that I was going to show you guys some exciting stuff at the start of this video. Well, it's time. I've been looking into doing screen printing. This is something that I am so interested in. I don't want to show you guys this one that I did of Rice Krispies. Zoom in to the cereal box and then on the cereal box, there's a cereal box with the cereal box in it. <laughs> Let me know if you think this is a good idea, but I kind of wanted to do all the zodiac symbols, but with cats. <laughs> this is like a mock-up that I did, so obviously this isn't like the final version, but this is just kind of what I'm thinking. So the question is, do I do all the boring admin or do I do some painting? I think I do have to paint because I've already poured out some of this paint, so. Oh no. <laughs> and to make this video realistic, I didn't get everything on my to-do list done but I tried. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, I kind of gave up on the easel halfway through the day. This usually happens. I just decided to sit down because I wanted to watch videos whilst I was painting. Turns out if you only get two hours of sleep, you end up pretty tired by the end of the day. <laughs> so that is pretty much exactly what I do in a day to run my art business. There is a load of other videos that I do on my art business and I will leave the videos up there. Thank you to everyone who's leaving nice comments. Like someone said that I was their favorite YouTuber. Thank you, but raise your standards, please. And I'm very sorry this wasn't one of my usual videos where I go out and do something exciting. And if there's any videos that you'd like to see, any exciting things that you want to see me do, I'm happy to do that. And I will see you next time.